Hey there, and how could I help you? I would want the boyfriend popsicle. That will be one dollar and fifty cents. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Enjoy your popsicle and have a nice day. See you soon. Goodbye. Hey there, and how could I help you? I would want the Tetris popsicle. That will be one dollar and fifty cents. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Enjoy your popsicle and have a nice day. See you soon. Goodbye. Welcome! How may I help you? Hi, I would like the boyfriend popsicle. I'm afraid to say this, but we are out of the boyfriend popsicle. Look man, I was driving around the park, and there were lots of kids, like 30 kids, and they were asking for the boyfriend popsicle. They were like, hey there, I want the boyfriend popsicle. They were yelling and screaming like banshees a lot. And I also gave the last one's boyfriend. So, you must choose a different popsicle. Okay, may I get the Tank Man popsicle? The one with round goggles. Oh no. I'm so so sorry, but we are out of the Tank Man popsicles. I had to throw the last one away because it was melted. In fact, we are out of all FNF popsicles, other than the Garcella popsicle. Look, I was driving around so much today. Ah, that's so sad. You've been earning lots of money today. Oh, I know what I want right now. May I please get the Otis Popsicle? Oh crap. Not again. We are out of the Picos School Popsicles. Are you kidding me? What Popsicle do you even have? All I wanted was the Boyfriend Popsicle. The Tank Man Popsicle, the Tetris Popsicle, or the Otis Popsicle. Well, I still have the Tom's Popsicle, the Funny Boy Robbie Popsicle, the El Monte Popsicle, the Kale Out Popsicle, and the Garcella Popsicle. These are the five popsicles I have left. So, what popsicle do you want? No, I don't want those, stupidly. And baby show and disgusting as hell popsicles. Oh my god, how dare you have the stupid baby show characters. And that cigarette smoking Garcella man disgusting popsicles. That's it, I'm going to destroy this stupidity ice cream truck. You donkey brained asshole. Whoa, young man, please calm down. I know that you are upset and angry, but please calm down and take a deep breath. It is not my fault I ran out of your favorite popsicles. It was probably the workers in the ice cream companies, who didn't stock enough popsicles in my truck. Please calm down, and take a very deep breath, and it'll make you feel better, and you'll be... Nope, that is the last straw you jerky pumpkin man moron. It is your fault that you ran out of my lovely popsicles. You asked me to destroy this ice cream truck, so I'm gonna blow it into pieces. I hate you, idiot, jerk, seriously, I hate you. Old man destroyed an ice cream truck because he did not get what he wanted. He wanted the boyfriend popsicle, the tank man popsicle, and the Otis popsicle. Apparently, the ice cream truck driver sustained broken ribs, whiplash injury, a cracked skull, and lost one of his fingers. He'll need a rib surgery, painkillers for his whiplash, a cast on his skull, and his pointer finger reattached. Now, I'll show you the suspect. This is the suspect who destroyed the ice cream truck. He suffers from untreated schizophrenia and he's currently wearing a green shirt, ripped blue jeans, and yellow shoes. He also has ginger hair, and he sometimes smokes marijuana. This little rotten bastard will possibly go to prison for this. His full name is Pico Captain. More news coming up after the commercial break. I can't believe I had to destroy an ice cream truck because that idiotic jackass did not have my favorite popsicles. Like what the hell is wrong with that jerky dingbat with a penis brain? That's bullcrap. Well, I'm so glad that I got him seriously injured. Now he needs three surgeries, and painkillers for his whiplash injury. Now, when I get home, I'm gonna lie to boyfriend, and he'll not believe it and he'll not be... <coughs> mad at me. Oh no. It's the police. I'd better stop walking. Hold it right there with your hands up you criminal scum. 
you are under arrest for destroying an ice cream truck. Get in the police car now. No 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 You are going to the Plotagon City Court. Here he here he order in the court. This court session has started. Pico, you're here for injuring my younger brother Pumpy and destroying an ice cream truck. I have done the things you said, you skull-headed October loving moron. That's it. You are going to the Plotagon City County Jail for 45 years. You're here for destroying an ice cream truck and harming a person. You little vandal, and you have some visitors that want to see you. Oh my god, Donkey Brain 127 IQ Mental 8 Ill Destructive School Destroying Reckless Ginger Hair Jerky Moron Pico. How dare you destroy an ice cream truck? Now Skid's brother Pumpy needs three five hour long surgeries, and Skid will be depressed. You know what? That's it. You are grounded 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 for the length of your jail sentence and that means no McDonald's no Sprite no smoking marijuana no practicing on the turntables no Bauhaus no Sisters of Mercy no KMFDM no Green Day no Play Place no Joy Division no Gary Newman, no natural born chillers, no hanging out with Donnell, no hanging out with Nene, no M16, no Mac Tenuzi, no hanging out with Otis, no fast food, no 911 records, no slumber parties, no iPhone, no laptop, no computer, no playing on the Microsoft Surface Pro, no playing with your deceased grandparents old Nokia 3310, nothing go to sleep now don't escape if you do i will make you drive a bmw z4 around the city with no seat belt <laughs> It's not fair. Why does the world have to be this way? Just why? 